Next on Great Day at 9A, the cost of holiday travel. How many of us are changing our plans because tickets just cost too much? How haunted is the Mark Twain house? Marcy Jones is taking the tour to find out live. What the Greenwich Wine and Food Festival is doing to celebrate the 10th anniversary. We're getting a taste on Great Day at 9A. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Great Day at 9A on your Thursday. 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 Hello, everybody. I'm Caitlin Francis in for Nicole. I'm Scott Haney. The last time I checked, I was still Scott Haney, and the rain has stopped. Thank goodness. We're going to get to the weather in just a second, but first, let's get to our top stories. Yes, so one of our top stories here today, election security state leaders are teaming up with military officials to make sure your vote is secure with free cybersecurity reviews for local election officials. Tim Weber, vice president of a cybersecurity firm, says the sooner they can root out any issues, the better. We've got all the links to register to vote or get candidate information up on the Channel 3 app. You can just click on the Campaign 2022 tab. Very easy. Very important to vote. Very, very important. We're also very proud to bring you the debate in the U.S. Senate race. Senator Richard Blumenthal and challenger Leora, Le Leora Levy will join us for a live debate on the issues. They're going to be here Wednesday, November 2nd from 7 to 8 p.m. We're hosting this debate <coughs> along with our partner, CT Insider. We'll be live right here on Channel 3 that night. And Waterbury closing arguments could begin today in the Alex Jones defamation trial. Both the plaintiffs and defense rested their case yesterday in court. Jones was found liable of calling the Newtown shooting a hoax. On his InfoWars show, the families of eight victims and an FBI agent say the lie ruined their lives after Jones's supporters harassed them. The jury will decide how much Joan should pay them in damages. All right, let's get a check of the weather. <coughs> <coughs> let's get a check of the weather. Whoa. 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 Yeah. It's because I did that Marcy Jones uh, track at the beginning of the show. Lost my voice. <laughs> it scared it. You scared it right out of yourself. I want you to take a look at this. This is the first time since 1972 that it's not raining here in the state. <laughs> Approximately, yeah. It's unbelievable. It is clear. Uh, we do have a little bit of fog out there still in parts of the state. So for the rest of the day, we're taking a look at uh, beautiful golden mm -hmm. sunshine. There might be a little cloud coverage in the town you're waking up or joining us from this morning, but those clouds will erode and we're expecting highs today 74 how awesome is that 68 is the normal high 71 for the shoreline by 3 p.m. everybody's gonna be outside today I can just tell and then by 7 p.m. this evening uh, mostly clear skies 67 inland 64 for the shoreline tonight will cloud things up and then tomorrow we do run the risk for a scattered shower I'll talk more about that coming up at the bottom of the hour all right sounds good yeah. I'm, and I'm very much looking forward to today and tomorrow yes and you're joining me for a wedding this weekend. <laughs> yes, I am. It's going to be great. Caitlin's <laughs> going as my date. Isn't I know. that sweet? It's so nice. I got a text message asking to be Scott's date. It's going to be great. <laughs> it is People gonna are going to be really confused. I know. <laughs> <laughs> to take pictures and uh, share them Monday morning. Absolutely. Can't wait. We're going to have the best time. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, we've got local plans for this weekend, but if you've got holiday travel plans, and you're rethinking all of this yeah, because of, of the cost, you're not alone. Absolutely. Almost 80% of people, 80% are switching up their plans. A new survey by bank rate shows almost 8 in 10 people are adjusting travel because of inflation and rising prices. Plane tickets are up 43% for Thanksgiving over last year. That's incredible. Yeah. Hotel costs are also up because of increases in business travel. Wow. Well, I mean, everything's everything's back I have local plans I'm not getting on a plane for to go holidays. anywhere yeah, for the holidays so um, I potentially have a wedding to go to another wedding <laughs> you want to be my date <laughs> Gosh, just, you know what's what's fair is fair okay <laughs> well it potentially could be on New Year's Eve so oh, I'm busy <laughs> I know. It's, a, it's a tough day to have a wedding it is a tough day to have a wedding I don't understand why people do that on a holiday weekend it's I don't know. not my decision it's their decision but All right, very um, good you know what are you gonna do <laughs> So anyway, if I do travel, it will be local. Uh, the furthest I might go is Provincetown. Uh, well, that's a drive. Yeah, there's a little bit of a drive. Yeah, but I'm I've not got, getting on a plane. I've got flights planned to D.C., and then a lot of my other plans are later in the year, or I guess I should say early 2023. Where have we sent Marcy today? Ready? I'm ready. Do, do special effects. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Halloween. 
Halloween is the perfect time for spooky stories. And one of the most well-known names in literature may have just the one for you. Marcy Jones is live at the Mark Twain House in Hartford to explain. Good morning, Marcy. Have you been scared yet? I'm scared by how amazing this house is. Does that make sense? We yeah, are here, totally. of course, at Mark Twain's house. Where, where, who grew up here again? Who? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right, Mark Twain, AKA Samuel Clemens. We are having so much fun already exploring. And as you mentioned, a little spooky vibes. We're gonna be talking about a ghost tour that is mostly sold out, but that's okay. We've still got so many more events coming up, so many things to explore, a little something for everybody in the family. Just take just take a look around, you guys. We're definitely going to do a walk and talk, and things are going to get explained to us about, you know, all of the amazing things that came out of this home and, you know, on to pen and paper. But it's just so much fun to get to be able to take in some history, learn a little bit, and have so much fun. And, of course, get into the festive season of Halloween. So we're going to see you in just a little bit. Make sure you stay right here with us on Great Date 9A. Marcy, look don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. <gasps> it's okay. It's You're just safe. my reflection. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Okay.